Never move in with a woman. Never move in with a woman. If you have a woman move in with you, make sure that your name is on the title, on the paperwork, on the lease, or both. Mm -hmm. I get a text message. All my clothes is in the snow. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Wow. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, <laughs> wow. What the hell? She says, yeah, have fun at, at your dinner with your little friend or with, you know you know how women do and i'm sitting there i'm like oh so i can't i don't want to cancel this woman because it's like i'm getting put on a business opportunity um uh yeah next video plain and simple never move in with a woman smart you know what i mean Plain and simple. Listen, I tried to. T I got friends that did that shit. I tried telling me, "Yo, man, don't move in with a woman." And next thing you know, hey, Los man, can you help me move? <laughs> Fuck no. I got a story after we show the video. <laughs> All right, we gonna let Pina start. <laughs> it's this job podcast. Oh, <laughs> let's go, Pina. Oh God. <laughs> Never move in with a woman. Never move in with a woman. If you have a woman move in with you, make sure that your name is on the title on the paperwork, on the lease, or both. Never move in somewhere where you are not on the title or the lease. Never, ever, ever do it. You've been warned. What she says, I don't want to spend the rest of my life alone. What she means, I don't want to have to pay this mortgage by myself. Men, are you half of the bills? Think about it. She can swing the bills on her own for a while after she's separated or divorced, but she doesn't want to. You are half her bills, half her rent, half her mortgage. Whoa. You know, I said what I had to say. Ooh. What you got, T? You want? You, you, no, you know we're gonna let CJ kick right. this one off yeah. because yeah. he just said he had a story. He got a story to tell. He got a story to tell. So, I had moved out my apartment. And I was talking to this young lady and I said, hey, listen, I'm going to um, just come here for a couple months, stack my money up and find a place that I like because none of the places that was available I liked. And so, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm near. I might be there like two months. Um, a friend of mine, he knew a young lady who had her own home health care agency. She was making money. He said, listen, I'm going to put you on her. Y'all can have a conversation. She can help you, you know, figure out how you can start your own joint. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So as a favor for him, you know, hooking me up with a business opportunity, I had purchased a bottle of Ciroc. I forget what flavor it was. So I had the bottle like in my passenger seat on the floor. The young lady that I was uh, talking Living to with? at the time, oh, okay, okay. she saw the bottle. She interpreted that the bottle was obviously for some some other reasons. <laughs> so then she went through my email and saw uh, a dinner reservation. So again, it's this young lady. It's my friend, me. Cool. So, so the lady that the girl that you moved in with was your friend? No, 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 no. My friend okay. is the one who put me on a business opportunity. OK, so it's us three at dinner. At the last minute, my friend pulls out. He has something to do. So I'm meeting the young lady or whatever. In the middle of the dinner, me and her, she's telling me about this. She's I, I never forget the moment. She's on her phone showing me her payroll system, how she pays her employees. And mm -hmm. I get a text message. All my clothes is in the snow. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Wow. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, <laughs> wow. What the hell? She says, yeah, have fun at, at your dinner with your little friend or with, you know you know how women do and i'm sitting there i'm like oh so i can't i don't want to cancel this woman because it's like i'm getting put on a business opportunity but i'm like my stuff is in the snow in the ghetto so, so <laughs> now you can't even focus I'm, I'm not focused at all she talking about taxes and uh. bank accounts i'm like 
Oh, my favorite sweatshirt on top. I can see the snow building up on this damn. Oh, oh come on. So listen. So I'm like, all right, cool. So she sees the snow. She's like, oh, it's starting to snow. I'm like, yeah, so you ready to get out of here? Because, you know, I don't want the snow to get too bad. She's like. You in the back of your mind thinking like, wait a minute, my clothes getting messed up. Listen. She said, I only live three blocks away. I'm like, oh. So she's in no rush because she can walk home. I didn't know where she lives. So I'm like, oh, no, no, listen, I can walk you. I'm like, she's like, oh. I said, I could take you. She's like, all right, I take her. Oh, God. I said, thank you for the information. I, I'm, at the fr- I'm at her front door. Like, I really appreciate this. And she's still talking. I'm like, I'm going to follow up with you because we got to have another one. We can have a longer session. She's still going on and on. So I'm just telling you the payroll. I'm like, girl, I don't give a damn about this payroll. I'm about to be naked tomorrow. I'm going to have no clothes. She finally goes in the crib. Oh, Thank shit. God it was snowing hard, so nobody was outside. And I rushed up there, and I got my clothes in my car, and that was the last time. I can't even remember that when that was. That might have been like 2015, 2016. So what happened to the chick? I mean, I got up out of there. Hey, look, I, listen. I, whatever apartment was available the next day, oh, I'm, Lord, out. Mercy. I'm out of here. Yeah. I ain't, look, let me tell you something. Ain't nothing worse. I mean, I had I have a horror story when you know I just lived with this girl, and um, you know we was going through our thing, and she went she went through my email, read the email that you know I me mean, I had, you know I mean I was meeting up with a, a Italian chick, straight from Italy. She was flying in from Italy. Okay. I, was meet, I was meeting up with her, you know I me mean, at the hotel. Y'all was cheating, but shit. <laughs> no, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> he still was over going so through my damn email. She, she had every right then. She had every right then. See? Listen. <laughs> you you uh, was wrong. You I was mean, wrong. yes, I was wrong, but, Listen. you know, he still shouldn't be going through my email. Listen, that, that, <laughs> well, that. Um, unlike the two of you, gentlemen, <laughs> well, I don't have any stories. I've Listen. never had anybody listen you never, to me. You never went through a man email? Um, or you never I'm sorry you never threw you never, you never had a, a man never lived with you I never no because never. my kids no because, you never lived with a man no because I had my own house with my kids so I'm not gonna let nobody just live in my house with me and my kids so what was the longest that a man ever stayed in your house like like spent the night yeah. a man a man a man never spent the night in your crib with your kids in there if if so they didn't know he was there uh, you mean the, he would come like late at night and, and then, then and then be the out morning. by early in the morning yeah so yeah, you, you, you did your thing really and you got rid nobody. of them, huh? I never really had nobody around my kids. Oh, get out. Yeah. Remember, she's been saying for episodes that she goes over men's oh, house yeah, and, and, then, about and then corrupt kids. their kids. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I don't care about she your kids. Stop it. Their kids ain't got nothing to do with me. Now, if you know, come over here and see me yeah, dropping the Yeah, thing, walking around with teas out, yeah, they, no panties on. They see me, you know what I mean? In the kitchen talking about, you want some eggs, baby girl? <laughs> now, if they see me dropping down get my eagle on, that's on you as a parent. Stop that, nigga, get your eagle that's on. That's on, that's that's just that's on you as a father. Girl. I can't help it. Get get your eagle on. In my house, it's only saint behavior. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I know. We know how. We, look, we, we know how T operate. Yeah. Look, 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 let's go to the comments. So, go to the first comment is from Rose Bailey. Rose says that goes both ways. Yes, Rose. We completely agree with you. That does go both ways. Fat. Listen, I say it to fellas, but I mean, well, the only difference is, man, we not we not quick to kick women out. We'll give them nah. a little grace. Women will find uh, 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 eyelash, not the whole eyelash, one little eyelash. <laughs> oh, this must be Karima's. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> and now it's, it's, it's a done bun. So you know what? No, because you know it was this guy I used to deal with. This was like some years back, and um, he was obviously a male whore. In hey, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to cut you off in your story, but you said he was a male whore, but you used to deal with him. Yeah. Because, okay. All right. Go. Get, yeah. Cont- but, continue. <laughs> so I started finding stuff, and it wasn't like I was looking for anything because I would go over there, and mm-hmm. I, anybody that knows me, I'm like the meticulous type of person. So yeah. I'm cleaning and whatever like that. I st- one time, I'm taking a shower, and it was hair in my little poof. You know, like the poof that you use, you know, to take a shower. Yeah. The shower yeah. gel. That chick used my stuff. What? Oh, he violated. Well, what if it was his sister? No, 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 no. He violated. 
She and, and I can tell she was purposely leaving stuff there. For real? Yeah, because it was she started leaving like and he was getting sloppy with it too. Cause now now it's like curly hair on the bathroom floor. And then one time I found Penny I'm like, you know what? Oh man, yeah, he much. was. Yeah, he was yeah. getting sloppy. Yeah, he, he was, was getting real Either sloppy. He didn't care, or he just was out of pocket. Yeah, it had to be. Yeah, one well, or the other. so the, the 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 issue with him was he used to drink a lot. Oh, he, oh, drunk. he got yeah. drunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was always. Yeah. 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 Oh, see. Nope. So and uh, I had enough. I said, nope, can't do this. So. Yeah. You gotta I can't. cheat and be sober. You yeah, yeah, I mean, it, no, yeah, see, you that can't. That's the thing. Like when he was sober, he was cool. It was when he was drinking, and then the hookah and. With the combination, well, you know, you know, you know what they say. You know what they say. Uh, uh, a drunk mind eat a sober coochie. Whoa. Oh, wait a minute, did they say that? <laughs> I don't know. My all bad. I know is, <laughs> all I know is. Maybe I need to get I drunk. Remember one time he, saw, he called me because he was like, "Oh my god, my house, my my apartment on fire." I'm like, "How the hell the apartment get on fire?" She burned it down. <laughs> well, when he got sober, by the time I figured out, by the time I got there, I started realizing like what was going on. He was smoking the hookah, and you know, like the if coal. you know anything about the hookah, you got to burn the coal. Down. The coal fell over, fell onto the bed, burnt the blanket, and then now you know here the blanket starting to catch it. Catch oh blanket. shit! Dude, you should like you should have called that bitch <laughs> and then hung up on him. <laughs> no, well, I ain't calling nobody. You should have called Karima. I think she's a firefighter. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, hey, um, white man in Philadelphia, T got a tickle in her throat. <laughs> she needs some help with yeah, it. Yeah, I, I need some glaze. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Is that was that the last video? Is it, are we wrapping we need, this up? Uh, I don't know how many times. Uh, I can, uh, we need another, we need another YouTube apology. <laughs> hey, YouTube, I'm sorry, I'm back. <laughs> we love the community and we respect the guidelines. He's always okay? that spokesperson. Okay. <laughs> We want to be here, and we also love to be monetized, okay? So please, scratch that last one out. We're going to edit that out. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, editor? Yes. Yeah, you know, we need to get that part out of there. Where are we at? 50? I think that might be like 56 minutes. <laughs> Whatever. At the 56 yeah. minute mark. Yeah, cut that out. Yeah, you, 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 you can cut that out. Thank you can you. cut that out. <laughs> so where are we at? So we got, do we got, no, was that, that was all the comments. Anyways, let's go to the next video. This strong podcast. This strong podcast. Live and from from Philadelphia. The two one five. Oh, like subscribe. Oh, yeah, you heard the man. God damn it! I'm what feeling very. Video? I'm feeling very aggressive. Oh Lord! This is the last video. I'm ready. I'm ready to choke a bitch. Oh whoa! Oh, hey, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'm man, sorry. Yeah, another man, apology. You need apology. Another apology. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. You I just said what? a couple minutes ago. You know what, TJ? You might as well just record your we apologies. And every lines. time we egg up, just press play. We love everybody in the community. <laughs> we don't condone racism, <laughs> domestic violence, <laughs> essay, none of that stuff. <laughs> Uh, pornoism, oh, none of that yes. stuff. We don't know. I don't know what's happening tonight. He's gonna try to make it seem like he's the angel of the group. I'm no, not he trying is to not. say nothing. I'm he just trying to keep not. our channel alive. 